Hello and welcome to RA Place Factorio C Block. This is episode 105. Uh, we're starting to build Blue Science. And I just grabbed some landfill. So we have the, the means to go and look what we need to make these guys, right? That's probably the next, next plan. Um, yeah, so the phenolic board is something we need, the wooden board we need for that. Yeah, and we're, we're gonna make resin out of wood, which is probably a little inefficient, but w I think we can make it work. Uh, and we can sneak the wood through here, hopefully. If not, we might want to sneak it, like run it on the outside. That's probably a little bit safer. Um, and then just bring it through here. I think that's what we want to be doing. Mm. Yeah, okay, this is uh, all done. Uh, yeah, we won't use that for a bit, but we'll figure some way to stash that. Uh, we use it in, in some of the farming science, I think. Um, this is actually, yeah, this is quite fine, which is logical, right? The, the bottleneck is the other circuits for the... Uh, for the solar power. This is running, uh, ah, this is actually using the buffer actively. Um, Let's uh, go ahead and bring some of that up. Or do we need to scale up stuff first? Maybe we, we should. We should have the power for this at the moment, right? Yeah, this, this is looking pretty nice. Um, yeah, we're not even triggering the accumulators at night, so we should have plenty of power to scale some stuff up. So maybe just build another another array of these guys. Uh, alternative is that we speed up like the belt here, um, like upgrade them. That would be okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's just build another array of this. Uh, the heavy mud water. We should have plenty to build a couple more of these. So let's let's do that. Um, for these guys we need some more clay bricks so let's go pick those up and let's see this should be over here let's get a full stack um, it's got some iron plates as well yeah and I think we're just gonna copy a lot of this setup um, the question is, do we want to do something smart with like alternating these guys or something? Is, th is there something that, that's gonna make sense? Could we, like we could do a double array of them, like run, but yeah, is that gonna help us? So basically, if we were to do, so if we look at this, we'll need three of these and four of these. That should be fine. Um, so can we, we could just all place them along this line, right? That's that's a way we could go, but then we, we have an issue with the fluids. Um, though you could alternate that. Um, we could do direct insertion somehow, right? So if we directly insert, um, so from this recipe, what do you get? You get three crystal with us and two crushed them. So say we did direct insertion, could we do something nice with that? Like maybe, like if you placed one two 
three. And then, yeah, I, I actually really like that. Can we make that happen somehow? So if we have the fluid inputs, yeah, so we would, I think we would need filter inserters for that, right? So that's the, the drawback, but we could afford that. We could, could easily build a couple of fil filter inserters. Um, so let's say we build, um, did some direct insertion. So how do we then get rid of the stone? I guess if we, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so, and in fact, this is not really quite as efficient as we'd like it to be. But that's, oh, this we should, Non-stack inserter oh, we should have gotten this a while ago. That's actually gonna solve some of our problems over here, right? Output uh, speed and such. Um, I think I'll just copy this this setup. Like it's it's fine for now, and we want to do this robot style eventually. Um, yeah. So the only thing is that we probably want to. So we probably won't need to scale this up that badly, right? So if we add another, we'll, we'll add another two machines. Yeah. Um, so if we use two arrays of these to get that. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, let's, let's just get a couple of these plants. So uh, let's put them down like over here, one. Three. Uh, copy over this recipe. Uh, we're gonna need some water. Uh, yeah, let's do a copper, some copper pipe crafting, and we'll get the water from over here. Like this. Yeah, that should be okay. And then this water. Uh, yeah, there we go. And uh, we'll bring that up like this. Okay, now we're gonna power all of this. one over here yeah okay then we're gonna have a belt um, yeah so here we do need we do need the, the uh, yeah we do need some fast belt as well um, but let's for now let's start off with this right uh, we're gonna need some inserters. We're gonna need two more ore crushers. Um, yeah. So I think what we wanna be doing is just maybe move this up a little bit. And then if we need to, we could move this up as well, right? It's it's all... Yeah, and then crystallizing should be done somewhere else. We can we can do all the crystallization over here then, at some point. Yeah, I like that. Okay, uh, inserters. One, two, one, two. One, two, one. This needs another... Let's maybe do it like this then. Another pull over here. And one, two, two. And then 
have this configured to have offset over here and then copy that uh, a couple times okay yeah so in any case we'll need one fast splitter and that's gonna be over here uh, we're gonna yeah we're gonna need some way to uh, yeah like this I guess this can be slow probably and yeah let's just uh, copy and rebuild this ourselves okay so we're gonna need some fast belt over here and then a couple splitters like this um, some slow belt There we go. Uh, yep, that's not necessary. This. Yep. Okay, uh, then let's do this output thing. Copy that over. So then the only thing is that we need to do, um, so what we could do is we could ch just chain the, um, the stone this way and add on two more of these, right? That should probably be doable. Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, that's gonna be quite nice actually. So we'll run it like this. You guys get to go over here and this will move out a little bit. So we'll put down a couple more of these uh, chemical plants and uh, let's go. And then uh, yeah. Okay, Capa insert a capacity bonus. That's gonna help. That's, uh, yeah, that's gonna help a lot with picking up stuff and outputting stuff as well. That's yeah. We should have gone that gone that way earlier. Fluid handling, oh, pump two. That is that's okay, but not really important, I guess. This might be useful at some point. Let's get that. Once we have robots, we want that in any case, but uh, we don't need these guys. We do need the ore crushers. How are we on power poles? Yeah, let's craft a couple. Um, then we have the inserters. We'll need a couple more of those as well. And the power poles are good now. Okay. Um, oh, we need one final splitter over here. There we go, that should help a lot. Then we're gonna do this, we're gonna do, uh, yeah. I guess we can, oh, wait, oh. I, wait, I thought it didn't allow us to. Well, anyway, uh, we're good. Um, yeah, we need to pick up some more iron. Uh, do we have some in the buffer? Probably not is my guess yeah nope so let's get them from the buffer down below and we should be good uh yeah so here we go 
And we can craft some more belts. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we have some more chemical plants here. Uh, like this. And... Oh, yeah, so what we what we could do, actually, I think, is to have... We could try to have this, make this have priority over these guys, right? So if we don't use a top-up valve here, we can probably do without the, the landfill crafting over there. Uh, why? Because it just means that uh, the machine over here, like this one, is gonna have a bit heavier of a load. Because all if all of the stone here gets used, then it's probably like having these two as a buffer is probably okay my guess is right because they they these would then be stopped and then what we could do is we could have like this this section we could have again um have a little uh overflow and have top of halves rather than not have them so we save them here uh and then we'll sort of yeah w instead we'll We'll have the overflows here and here, and we, we save a little space in the middle, because that's where we need it. Um, yeah, so let's fill this in. Ah, yeah, okay, so it, it really, unless you explicitly click over it, you can't, uh, you can't do it. But if you drag, so, so if you drag, you can't do it, but if you explicitly click it, then you can sort of override what you uh, would need uh yeah there's one more pull missing here okay so this gets us a nice amount of stone um then over here um we're gonna leave a little bit of space instead but we are just gonna copy uh, this bit I guess yeah let's let's do this bit and we'll cancel like one part right yeah. okay so we're gonna need some chemical plants for this uh, and actually we're gonna need a lot more so I'll just craft five and that should be fine we'll run copper pipe and uh, copper pipe over here that means we need to bring the sulfuric acid over. So how are we gonna do that? Yeah, this is kind of tricky. Um, maybe do it like this. Have this over here. And can we go? Yeah, we can, excellent. Okay, so let's do it like this. Uh, we are gonna need more pipe. Um, we have the chemical plants going, that's nice. Yeah, and basically what we're going to do is connect the crystal slurry up through here. And that means we can have at least, like we should add one, maybe two of these filtration machines. And that's going to mean we'll get more mineral sludge, which means we can do more crystallizing. Um, let's see, Meta, steel metal furnace, sure, whatever, this seems fine. Um, yeah, like this, and uh, let's put in the power poles, and we'll need some more inserters to get this going. Oh, let's grab some of the, of the boards, because we're out. Um, See, we can get those here. Yeah, 
that's the boards that we're missing, right? Yeah, that's we're crafting some of those right now. So let's uh, use those to get more inserters, and then we can fill this stuff in. We don't need these guys. Oh, this is gonna be kind of tricky. So if we want to do more filtration machines, we actually need the way we set this up is that we need a way to get so what we could do actually is we could run the slurry over here and have this go partially underground that would i think work out yeah we could make that work it's not pretty but we'll we'll have have it to we can do it like this for now and then connect it up oh, yeah and so then we need some underground stuff over here and then connect this up and then for the the specific machines we'll have to sort of sneak that through and we'll we'll make it work it's gonna be okay okay you guys are now able to work once you have inserters yeah there we go this is now backlogged which is okay since what we're gonna do is we're gonna have basically this setup once more, but I, ooh, I accidentally shot that. Let's uh, get some repair packs. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah. So I think for that part we only need. Wait, wha what is this? This is gonna. Oh, this is needed to chain through the sulfuric acid yeah so now this can actually work um and we want to copy like this part i guess uh for now oh i messed something up with the belt here let's fix that i don't know if if i yeah I guess that was needed. Um, okay, so we're gonna do connect this up. Um, yeah, since this is wrong, it requires manual clicks. Uh, we'll go over here. These we won't need, I think. If we do, I'll replace them. This is nice. This is nice. Yeah. Uh, chemical plants right here um, and then the power poles okay that's good this stuff needs water uh, which will bring from down here that's way easier than trying to sneak it up uh, we do need some more pipe to do that um, yeah, so we're almost good to go with doubling this up and making sure we have plenty of mineral sludge. Uh, I'm gonna make a cut for YouTube though. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next episode.